Hey what's up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to wire an LED. This fun, somewhat easy to do project is great for anything electronics and can be used virtually for anything as long as there's a power supply. First what you'll need is resistors to resist your current, a soldering gun, solder for your soldering gun, scissors to cut your wire and or strip the wire, LED holders is optional, your LEDs, make sure if you get more than one they're all the same. For this video, to test the LED I'm going to be using a 6 volt lantern battery. And for the wires I'm just going to use a black wire for a negative and the red wire for the positive. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so what you see here is what we're going to be working with first. Um, as you can tell I've already cut my wires. Um, and strip them at the ends so they're already pretty much ready to go um, what you want to make sure is when you get your pack of resistors in order to determine what resistor you need you're gonna first need to know um, what LED you're gonna be getting and so what I would do is save your package that your LED came in it should look like this if you flip it over it tells you everything you need to know on the back and so that's very important make sure you keep your bag and uh, to determine that, go to metqmods.com. It has a very good um, LED calculator on it. And just plug the information in off your package and uh, for your LED. And that would determine your what resistor you need. Now, for this one, mine's a little overkill. But um, it's always better to go over the recommended uh, resistor than to go under. Otherwise, you'll burn it out within seconds. I mean... It won't LED won't last very long at all. So uh yeah, make sure you do that. Okay, so we got our positive wire here. But before you start wire you're soldering up your LED and your resistors, you gotta know which side of the LED is positive, which side is negative. So to determine that, if you look closely let it focus. There we go. The negative side of the LED leg is shorter than the other. See that? So the, sh the shorter side is the negative lead and the longer side is the positive lead. You could also could tell inside the LED the lead is also fatter. The negative lead side is also fatter than the positive. Okay, so now what I also did was I also cut my resistor shorter just because we don't need a very long resistor for this. Now it also, you could do this one of two ways. You could solder your resistor first to your LED and then to a wire. Or you could, um, why aren't you focusing? Okay. You could first solder it to your positive side first and then to a wire. Or you could hook it up to a wire and then solder the wire to the net positive side. Whichever way, doesn't matter. I'm going to do... I'm going to just solder the resistor right to the positive side for you. Okay, so now we're ready to solder the resistor to the LED. Um, first, before we do that, um, I, I like to hold the reel with the, <clears throat> with the solder sticking out of it for control and stability instead of just holding the um, wire like that. Also, um, if you guys have never done this before, I highly recommend... Um, test, you know, practicing on like a p couple of wires or so until you feel comfortable enough. Uh, now this could be done in one or two ways. One way you could hold the solder down where you're going to solder and use the gun to melt the solder on it. Or you could just gently touch the tip of the gun with the solder and so you could see it's melting it onto the tip. So all you have to do really is just touch the connection and it should, so it should solder. Okay, so let's get started here. And just gently break away from it. And it should the sol the solder should jump off from the tip onto the wire. 
and uh, solder them together. Let's check that out. All right, there we go. We got the um, resistor soldered to the positive lead right there. All right. Okay, now once you solder your resistor to your positive leg, this step becomes a little easier now that all you have to do is solder the wires to your uh, leads and your resistor. And um, one way what I like to do is I like to twist the wire around the, um, the legs. This makes it you know a lot more secure and easier to solder up. Um, so yeah, do that and just solder just like how you saw me do on this one due to these two right here. Alright, so once you got that soldered, um should look something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as um, you know, just give each side a little tug, and if it's secure enough, then you're fine. Um, what I would do, too, is wrap the solder points and actually the wire, the whole wire that's exposed with electrical tape, so nothing shorts out, and uh, you'll be fine. Alright, so once you got them soldered, um, what I would do is test the LED and make sure your connections are secure. And uh, as we see here, lights up pretty nice. This thing's really bright. Um, yeah, it works good. Alright, so now all you have to do is solder your leads to whatever uh, power source you're going to be putting this in. And uh, for all you computer guys out there, a cool um, trick is if you got an old fan laying around that you're not using, that's a Molex, has a Molex connector on it, just cut the wire off the fan and uh, bam you got your your leads right there and just solder all you'd have to do is solder your LED to the black and uh, black and red wire and all you gotta do is plug your Molex connector into a, a Molex plug and uh, should work alright thanks for watching guys please comment rate subscribe if you have any questions just leave a comment or send me a PM thank you